Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's Trixie here with Pick Tricks. I am going to be using the Mystical Moments Tarot for the March 2023 reading for you. I also have out the Tattoo Tarot here for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and I will close out the reading with an Oracle card as always. Um, <clears throat> Aquarius, this is going to be for March of 2023, but I actually feel like most of you are going to stumble upon this after March has already begun. There's like obviously going to be some viewers that are going to pick this up before March 1st of 2023, but there's something here, Aqua, is about um, you stumbling upon information after the first of the month versus the beginning, like before, that you have been seeking or looking for. I also feel like telling you that you're really worried about either being discovered or somebody discovering or you discovering something, there's like this insight or wisdom or, or like piece of information that um, could greatly impact the state of your life. And you're worried about that. Uh, I shuffle before I come on Aquarius. So make sure that you're checking out all of your big four, but I'm actually like, I'm not somebody who like touches my throat like I am right now or like scratches myself and that's actually a nervous like anxiety thing. Some kids with ADHD or ADD do that and it or autism even and I feel like some of you if you have children and you've been seeking a diagnosis you may learn about that diagnosis this month. It's something like that. You've been seeking something or something has been seeking you for quite some time and this March I do feel like you are receiving um Wow, that's a lot of cards, and I'm not going to take all of those. I'm going to take the one that did pop, though. Hierophant for the first of the month. Yeah, it's like somebody's coming in in the first week of the month, and they're teaching you something, and you're just going to, like, listen. Like, she's got her little elbow propped up on her. I don't know if you can see that, if it'll focus. She's got her elbow, like, propped on a, her legs are crossed, and she's, like, just listening to that owl. Somebody has wisdom for you in the first week of the month. Don't take this wisdom lightly. The second week of the month. I kind of feel like Aquarius... You're thriving this month in energy that you ordinarily shouldn't thrive amongst. Like, I feel like at the end of this month, Aquas, your people are gonna be like, how'd you how'd you do that? Knight of Wands, yeah. How'd you do that? You might even have that come out in the second week of the month. Somebody might say that to you. Both this tree and this um fiery hoop are emerging out of woods, like out of nowhere for no reason. Okay. Something is coming into your life for no reason, like just out of nowhere. There's no real explanation for this. Um, and I do feel with the feminine card of the king of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, if you're a feminine watching this, mm, you might have a feminine Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo show up in your life here in this month. And this person is here to show you how to do something very differently or out of the box and that's your vibe sis um aquarius is love to do things outside the box they have advancement and technology and understanding they're ruled by uranus in the future so there is something here about somebody who has some wisdom and knowledge that they'd like to share with you that feels very futuristic this person might even feel like they come from a different world aquarius like you're like, are you an alien? That's something Aquarius would ask somebody. Are you an are you an alien? Were you born here? I can hear you saying that, Aquarius. Like, ask them. They are gonna tell you they're from here. They might even have a birth certificate, but they don't. I don't think this person feels that way that they're from here. Anyways, six of swords. You might be that person. You might feel like you don't belong here. Six of swords, the third week of the month. If you're contemplating selling your home, I do see you sell, uh, in, listing it out of curiosity. Not because, like, you really want to move, really, really want to move. You're more like, eh, if it sells, I'll move. It's such an Aquarius thing to do. I love that. Good for you. 
Knight of Pentacles. Okay, and the Hangman. I am going to take these together. The Knight of Pentacles did come out uh, in reverse. So, um, I do kind of feel like here, Aquarius, in the first week, first week of the month, or the, the fourth week in the month, excuse me. Yeah, you have some something backwards right now. Mm. What once was backwards will be turned around. Hold on, I gotta write that down. It's like your face, like when I was a kid, um, we used to go to this theme park called Kings Island. And there were these roller coasters that they were called the racers, I believe. And one went backwards and one went forwards. And they were two totally different rides, even though they had the exact same um, track and rails. And you would always pass the opposite energy, like, every every time. Like, whether you were going backwards or forwards, like, you would pass each other, right? And there's something here that, like, you've been riding this roller coaster backwards. That's, like... You, that's just how you always get in line. You just always go backwards because you love the feeling of going backwards on this roller coaster. But one day somebody comes with you to the theme park and they're like, hey, let's ride it forwards. I want to... And you're like, uh, why? And they're like, because we can? I don't know. Like, why? Why not? And that changes everything. Your appreciation for the coaster... Your appreciation for like the architecture, the design, everything. There's there, the, and that's just a metaphor. But I see that level of like somebody's teaching you a guide, somebody's giving you the instructions or the tools that have always kind of been at your beck and call. But maybe they didn't interest you. Somebody else's interest in it had to spark your attention. Oh, I don't need this deck. I need the tattoo to row. Yeah, so th I kind of picked up on that. Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. We'll come back to the mystical moment. So Seven of Swords came out here with the Hierophant and the Four of Swords. And, and if that doesn't explain what I was already saying here, Aquarius, that um, there's like a new teacher, somebody that's going to come in and guide you and give you the tools and resources to receive some sort of justice in your life. There is wisdom being bestowed on you in the first week of the month that I do feel like you are going to have to ask for assistance on how to even apply this in your life. That's what this owl is. There's just somebody here with higher level of um, intelligence or wisdom or spiritual knowing, psychic gifts, uh, insight into the future in a way that Aquarius wishes and, and came here to do. Um, your Uranus placement, I feel like, is really, really prominent in your chart, but I, most of you, I don't think Aquarius, Uranus was in Aquarius when you were born, and there's just this energy here of you needing to look up Taurus energy, but then this Knight of Wands is clarified by the Lovers and the Empress, okay, so you are creating something that takes a head over heart decision, oh my god, um, some of you are really would you would really like to receive some sort of accolades or promotion or reward, but this month, whatever competition that you're trying to enter yourself into, you are being taught that you need a little bit more training. And if you decide to ignore that guidance from somebody that is telling you you need more training here, Aquarius, um, you will get hurt. Physically. And um, and that is because of inexperience. And so it goes back to the roller coaster metaphor. You have zero experience riding the forward facing roller coaster. You only have experience going backwards. And until you have your own personal experience with something Aquarius, you really have no opinion at all. And I really hope that you understand what that means. Um, this is the difference between here where somebody was raised in a... I'm going to give a, a metaphor that we all experienced as children. Um, this is where there are two different kids. And one is raised with married parents that are married from the moment they're born until the moment that their parents die. 
And there's another kid that from the moment they were alive, they or at a young age, they experienced divorce. And so then they go through divorce. And when they die, they are divorced. Um, their parents died divorced. These two people have very different experiences in life. And unless you go through the experience of, of knowing what it's like to live 18 years amongst divorce, you don't really know emotionally what that takes on a person's mentality or like the toll that it, it how it impacts that person. Just like the person who is raised amongst divorce has no idea of the impact of what it is to be raised by children of marriage. And there is something here about somebody coming in that has experience that you do not have. And not just that they have experience that you do not have, but you have experiences that they do not have. This is a very balanced relationship because you guys provide something to the other that you need and you desire and it creates a bond. And this situation removes both of you from some sort of entrapment because the Eight of Swords is clarifying the Six of Swords. You get to move on from a self-imposed prison of not being able to heal and understand something that you just don't have the experience. And you're never going to have the experience because you cannot relive the past. So if you're a kid who came from marriage and let's say your partner comes from divorce, your clash in your marriage is an inability to see one another's point of view. And the only way to fix that is like therapy. Now, we all have had relationships like this, so it doesn't necessarily have to be inside of a marriage. It might be in a friendship. It might be in like a boss or a coworker. This is something where Aquarius, you and somebody I feel like are at odds and it comes down to inexperience and inexperience that will live with you this entire life because you cannot change the past. And um, unlike the roller coaster, you have to take this experience at this person's word. And they have to take your experience at your word. And that compromise and that level to recognize a head over heart decision that is being made in the second week of the month propels you to remove yourself from, you literally get in your little black cloud and remove yourself from a self-imposed prison with that eight of swords and get out of whatever circumstance you are currently in that you're working with, you're healing, you're allowing yourself to receive the justice and the lesson and this other energy is as well. Uh, but, you know, it is taking some ability to acknowledge that there are just some things in this life, Aquarius, you're never going to have the experience of. You can't. It's just how the world works. Eight of swords. Two of swords. Yeah, ten of swords. So... Um, eight swap to twos and twos walks to eight. So um, I really do see this ending of some sort of situation in your life that you struggle to see the forest through the trees. And the reason, like, again, I have to come back to that. You struggle to see the forest through the trees simply because in this life, you are not meant to experience it from a, from a first person experience. You are meant to see it through the lens of a second or third or fourth person experience. Um, I almost see you too, Aquarius, where you have diminished the like the forward facing roller coaster. You have discredited it or not allowed it to be something that is a valid experience worthy of your time and energy. And I see this situation where, Aquarius, you may even be saying sorry to somebody or being told sorry by somebody because of this yeah um you both this energy is two people have put themselves in self-imposed prisons and this energy is where these two people get to come out of those self-imposed prisons by allowing one another to hold space for the other all right hangman in the knight of pentacles here spirit for the fourth week of the month take that card king of cups yeah being very emotionally clear compassionate empathetic being able and capable of seeing somebody else's perspective but not diminishing your own uh, this is really about getting clear on how you feel and allowing somebody else to be clear on how they feel in a circumstance really opening yourself up to and being vulnerable um some Aquariuses, especially if you're a masculine energy watching this, are meeting the love of your life. And this person and you are wildly different. 
this is like where two people walk down the street and one this is like wednesday adam man i just had this this talk with my guides last night preparing me for this reading aquarius this is where um you are meeting somebody the same as like wednesday adam's meeting enid um this other person is the complete and utter polar opposite of you but this person and you are meant to be some sort of very balanced friendship relationship uh, connection that will probably carry forward for quite some time with both of you it'll be a very slow steady um stable secure relationship with this new energy oh yeah knight of coins and the king of cups together come on or that's a knave excuse me knave knight and king of cups some of you have options dude some Aquariuses are out there putting their resumes out. You're uh, educating yourself more. Yeah, nine of, nine of coins. So I, I do get pick up on this real energy here, Aquarius, where it's like, we're going to clarify again with the Mystical Moments Pro, where it's like you have a lot of options on what direction you could go in. Yeah, you could get back on your favorite roller coaster and just do the same damn thing over and over. But I think you're, you've outgrown that. You're bored of that. And that's why the universe is presenting new connections with you because there are things from your past that are weighing heavy on your heart that are keeping you stuck in some sort of cycle, a self-imposed prison, and you're ready to move on from that Aquarius. And so I do see here where the divine is coming in and intervening and giving you moments of clarity to heal. Three of cups here with the seven of swords, four of swords, and the hierophant. That card did come out upside down. Uh, I don't really want to say this. Um, but I'm gonna, because spirit literally is making my heart hurt. Uh... Oh, man. Um, I do see for a few people, and I'm gonna say this in... If this does not apply to you, apply it in your own way. Um, I do see some addiction here. And uh, this owl may represent, if this is like addiction or um, even infidelity, in any way, shape, or form, or embezzlement, actually. And those are pretty powerful words. This owl represents a mentor or a teacher who is going to assist the circumstance in an analytical way. Um, they are not going to be emotionally attached to the outcome. They are going to help you, Aquarius, face the reality of the circumstance. Um, and so... We're going to stay on what I originally said. And um, like in addiction, addiction is not a ladder. It's not a stairway. It is a spiral to heal from. And so whatever this situation is that the universe with the seven of swords, the four of swords and the three of cups in reverse paired with the hierophant, you're really being asked to commit to this situation because throughout the month you will have celebrations. You will get this is where like somebody is genuinely having to put in a lot of work. This may be you, this may be a partner, this could be a sibling, a parent, um, a coworker, a friend, just somebody, a child, somebody that is close to you that typically you celebrate with. It's time for this energy or you to commit to your higher self, to a new version of yourself. And in order to do that, most people cannot heal where they hurt. And so for some of you, there is a massive ending coming this month. For others of you, this is just an ending of a way of life. And you're being given opportunity to jump through a few hoops in the second week of the month that you will accomplish effortlessly. Okay. Four of swords. Wow. Double four of swords. So yeah. Um, this month is really about you sitting back and being more silent, Aquarius, hearing other people's stories, hearing other people's experiences, you sharing yours when you're presented with an opportunity, when you are presented with an opportunity to go through some sort of opportunity. <laughs> That's, I don't want to keep saying that word, but it's like you're going to be presented with these moments. You don't need to force them. Eight of swords, two of swords, and the six of swords spirit. 
That's a 16. You might have a tower moment. Some of you have a Sagittarius placement you need to go check out. Or Scorpio. The Hermit. Yeah, you're going to come out of some, some sort of situation that you've been stuck in for a while. You've been stuck where you're at for a really long time. King of Cups, Knave of Coins, Knight of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Spirit. For the fourth week of the month. Man, I love that this card just came out. Ah! Hold on. Um. Yeah, there's uh, some level of you accepting and honoring. The Six of Pentacles came out, and I saw it both upside down and in the positive. And y'all know I try not to take that deck <clears throat> in the reverse. If you're new, I don't really like the Mystical Moments deck to ever come out in the reverse. Even though the deck has clear explanations of reversals, I just don't. Um, at the end of the month, it's something like that. You, like, this is where, like, you get taken on that forward-facing forward roller coaster and you never ride the backwards again. In the fourth week of the month. You just never go back there. You've outgrown it. You don't enjoy that anymore. Your body has outgrown it. Man, I'll tell you, before I was, you know, um, put, in a, put in a wheelchair and my, my uh, you know, autoimmune disorder became debilitating, I was a huge roller coaster junkie. And now I'm lucky to get one or two in it when I go to the theme parks because they just take it out of me. And it's something like that, Okay. Where Aquarius, you, it just takes it out of you. It, you can't give to something anymore or it can't give to you. And this month is really giving you the space to remove yourself from some sort of circumstance. I'm going to clarify this over here in this fourth week one more time just because two cards. Yeah, six of cups, six of pentacles, six, six, six is out. This month is balancing out something in your life that's been very, very imbalanced for quite some time. And, um... I don't know if that's going in your favor or somebody else's favor. It might be going in both. Separating ways from somebody might be exactly what you need. Um, let's get a fairy forest card to close out this reading. Aquas, the dreamer, visions, trance, and apparitions. My biggest piece of advice for you guys is that you need to meditate more. You need to spend more time with zero distractions. This isn't where you go to the bathroom and your kids are putting their fingers under the door. This is like genuinely stepping away for like a minimum of 10 minutes twice a day and allowing yourself to just be on silence. No phone, no TV, no music. I know how Aquarius are. You want technology in front of you all the time. But unfortunately for you in this month, your Uranus placement is really asking you to spend some time alone. Okay. Um, and that may be a little hard for you. But in the silence, in the alone time, Aquarius, you're going to receive some massive downloads, some massive understanding and some balance in your life where something that you're currently prescribing to, you've outgrown. And by the end of the month, you're just going to move on from. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Make sure that you're checking out all of your big four, Aquarius. Thank you so much for being here today, and I'll get at you next time.